I'm Isabella Rossini, and today I'm doing odds and ends with Whitney St. John. Woo! I'm back, bitches! Wow, back and looking fabulous! Thank you! You ready? I know, it's been a while. I know. Like, let's get into it. Let's get started. <laughs> A Russian museum security guard drew eyes on a million dollar painting. How bored do you have to be? I mean, the 60 year old private security guard used a ballpoint pen on the painting three figures. First of all, this painting was begging to be vandalized, okay? It's literally blank faces. So of course you're gonna draw eyes. Well, they needed some eyes. <laughs> they needed a face. Apparently this painting was like a million dollars. Like a million dollars. I yeah. feel like maybe we could have drawn that. We could have. It was literally just three blank But paintings. better, it would have had eyes. <laughs> yeah. So it will cost thousands of dollars to restore. The guard was fired, obviously. <laughs> and could be fined and sentenced to a year of correctional labor. Oscar Mayer made a facial sheet mask that looks like bologna. I like calling it bologna. You know what, when I was growing up, my brother used to tell me that they came from the wild bologna. I thought the bologna was an animal. <laughs> the wild, the great wild bologna. <laughs> I know you're vegan, but did you eat bologna when you were younger? Yeah, it was awesome! Yeah? And did you ever make a like a sheet mask out of actual bologna? Like you cut the eyes out no, in the mouth? I always did that. Hello, Clarice. Well, Oscar Mayer is going all out. They have a clothing line and now they have a facial sheet mask line. Do they still make bologna? <laughs> like Well, apparently this mask is not made of bologna, but witch hazel botanical and seaweed derived ingredients. That sounds vegan to me. Yeah, it sounds great. We didn't check the ingredients to bologna, but we're gonna check the ingredients <laughs> to their face mask. Like guys, you I'll eat it, yeah. I'll put it like inside my body, but I won't like put it on the surface. As soon as I saw seaweed, I was kind of buying into it too. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> right? Seaweed. They're $4.99, like see, everybody's got a racket. $4.99 for bologna masks. <laughs> That's not bad. Like most masks. It's cheaper to buy the actual bologna. <laughs> it just looks like bologna, but it's not real bologna. Yeah, I wonder how good, how nutritional their mask is. I would try Probably it. Probably about as nutritional as bologna. <laughs> Homeowners discovered two terrifying ice formations lurking on their property. So basically, the ice was formed into like a Grim Reaper shape. <gasps> yeah, it really looks really creepy. So they appeared outside a home in Dunville, Ontario. Dunville. It sits about an hour of farmland away from everything else. A small town by itself on the river. You have to get out. One ice figure looks like the Grim Reaper and the other like some sort of horror movie wraith. Yeah! Two of them! Me, this would fascinate me. I would literally go and play Ouija right next to it. Like, I would, I would call upon the spirits, I would ask what's going on, and if no one talks to me, I would just break them down with ice picks, like. So they're probably not supernatural, it's more likely lake water froze on lamp posts. No. I don't know, or maybe it's just demons. Yeah, I'm gonna go with demons. That's the more fun answer, yeah. That'll do it for today's odds and ends, but that doesn't mean your time with us has to end. Just click the like button under this video and follow our channel. You'll be notified every time we share a new video. See you soon.